Hello everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. Greetings from Amsterdam. Hello. Kolesar, Znai, Malta Network Resources, Wang Kong, and Christos from Cyprus. Good to see you all. Uh, the temperature is around 21 Celsius. In the previous walking tour, it was around 25 in Bay for Wack, the Grand Bazaar tour. Check that one later if you haven't watched already. Hello, Pablo, Paolo Melo, Pablo T. Brazil and Argentine. Argent, Argentine is with us. Bridget, Alice, Mark Harto, hello. As you noticed, I have changed my uh, costume, stage costume. It was orange color, the national colors, and I changed that one because it's too hot. Let me show you where we are. We are in front of the Alde Kerk, the old church. The old church, it's the oldest building in Amsterdam. It's from 13th century. From uh, 1213. In 1213, they they built a, a chapel here, and in in the 14th century, they replaced it with a beautiful church. Uh, also, Rembrandt's wife Saskia was buried here, and uh, the ceiling is wooden from Estonia oak. And uh, we will start our walking tour from here. We will be walking around the Wallen a little bit. I'm gonna show you Warmostrad, Zeedijk a little bit, some touristic areas. And the uh, walking tour will be around uh, one and a half hour as usual, maybe one hour, I don't know. It depends on my energy. So let's start to our tour. How are you doing, everybody? I hope everyone is good. Welcome, the newcomers. Let's uh, see the view from the bridge next to the Ade Kerk, the old church. It's a pretty nice weather today. And as you can imagine, there are lots of boats on the canals, like this one, another one is coming, Damrak, Amsterdam Jean. And no restriction yet, about COVID-19. The cases are increasing in overall the Netherlands, but so far, except closing nightclubs, there is not any restriction. Also, the mask is only required on public transportation, like train, buses, or any place you cannot uh, arrange social distance. Please film the new 3D printed bridge. I wish I would. Uh, I haven't seen that yet, but it's in the red zone. I'll try to show it, but I'm not sure for now. It depends on which area is that. Uh, at least so far I don't have any feeling about vaccination. I don't feel any uh, bad side effect. Even I don't have pain on my arms this time. In my first time, on my first time there was a pain during the day on my arm where the prick uh, shot I received. But this time no pain. Also I still don't feel uh, tiredness. This is another beautiful view in the 
uh, the Zeiss Furbrook wall. It's the main canal of the red light district. The, the wall. Huh? Party boat, another party boat is on the way to the eye. Can I take a picture for you? <laughs> you need a microphone on your camera, I think. Why? Don't you hear me? Well, I can arrange the microphone. I already have a microphone. If you cannot hear me well, let me know. Here is the Ade Kerk. It's still under renovation. Partly. And in this area, because of Saturday evening, uh, they expect more crowds and more problems in this area. There are so many police officers on their bicycles and there are also municipality officers. This is the renovation site, the tower. Thanks Alice for the feedback. Let's move on. The Bulldog coffee shop is over there. Of course, we will not get into the coffee shop. And this is the first coffee shop of Bulldog in Amsterdam. And also in, on this area, when I walk, sometimes I will, I'm going to show you the grounds. Because I cannot film everything around this area. For my safety. <laughs> So, maybe you heard already the words first 3D printed bridge was opened in Amsterdam last week and uh, Queen Maxima was in the opening ceremony and it was open in the red light district. I don't know the exact location of the bridge but in my opinion probably after this building. Let me check if we can see the bridge. I'm gonna try to show it. What up? I the microphone is really good, but the thing about my microphone is uh, 
it records my voice permanently and other voice around is lower that's why maybe you think the microphone is not enough but the purpose of this microphone is uh, providing my voice permanently and uh, all other voices around me is lower just the explanation about that so let's check the other side again the other kerk side And this is Red Light District, one of the entrances, it's crowded. And I think 3D bridge is over there. Yes, it really there is. And Wang Tong sounds great to me and I have a recording studio. Wow, that's really more than enough for me. <laughs> Thank you. Well, the thing is, this crowded street is both sides are windows and women's at work women at work i'm gonna figure out how can i pass there quickly to reach to the bridge <laughs> so i'm gonna show myself for a while All right, we did it. Here it is. This is the world's first 3D printed bridge. It was opened last week, brand new. Hello, Darren. I'll show you. So, smartbridgeamsterdam.com. This is the website, you can check it. Hello. <laughs> and uh, this is a more clear view. It was opened only a few days ago and the Queen was here. World's first 3D printed bridge. Um, in the city of Amsterdam. Hello, Demirji. I think you don't want to miss this. This is the world's first 3D printed bridge. It was opened last week. And, uh, and the back side is red light district. <laughs> and the uh, Casa Rosso on the left side, the famous Who's all Red Light District is here? It's uh, almost in the best colors, Red Light District. Let's take a selfie together with 3D printed bridge. <laughs> I will I will make this thumbnail. Cheers everyone. <laughs> okay, I cheesed. Another cheesy video, right? It's in front of... Oops, sorry. Oh, this is the information. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, thank you. There is another info here. MX3D kicked off this project. As you can read it later by stopping the video. Smart bridge. Thanks so much. Would like to appear? See you. <laughs> and we are passing through the 3D bridge. It's an A4 paper bridge. Yeah. <laughs>
Of course, there is a toilet check here. And yes, it looks strong. 1,000 years later, it will be another historic bridge of Amsterdam. I hope. And the printer made an art. I think so, Demirji. Otherwise, I couldn't enter this area for video. I took the risk for this bridge. Thanks for reminding this bridge, by the way. I don't uh, remember who recommended reminded to me, but one of our Dutch watchers. Let's take another last look to uh, Red Light District. Theater Casaroso is open again two months later. It was closed for almost a year. Mohan Kumar, it's Red Light District. Another signature is here, an extra deep bridge. Well, I think everyone saw the bridge enough, so I will continue to my walk. The red shirted. The officers with red shirts, they are municipality officers. They are leading the people to obey the rules about COVID-19. Jack van der Slaus, yes, thank you so much. There are small ones behind of them. <coughs> Cuties. Real beauties of the red light district. <laughs> Family tour in such good weather <laughs> and the father is over there. Oh. Good job. <laughs> Ash Marijuana and Hemp Museum. I've never been there. The street is close to car. Let's see Damstraat and Dam Square. Oh, the colors are beautiful at this time. And Tuk Tuk, Amsterdam Tuk Tuk. Golden heart. It is be careful, swans with babies are dangerous. I got chased once by. Yes, I know. Somewhere other than Amsterdam, they were attacking me almost. 
Stefan Bedford, Bedford lots of tourists there. Yes, mostly German tourists, as I heard from their accent. Tommy Roberts. Uh, well, I still have hope. I think this is a temporary thing, this Delta variant. So probably there will be more lift-ups on restrictions after, especially after August. I don't know about 23 August, but I think the current situation is temporary. Let's be hopeful. Beautiful colors and dumb square right over there. Hopefully Tom Roberts, Tommy Roberts. Um, another party boat is here, let me show you. Disco boat. Club boat. <laughs> Centrum is really crowded, and uh, after Bayfer Bayfer Bay directly I arrived to Amsterdam, and I walk around a little bit, and I took my little beer trip. And I could observe the situation around, and mostly I I heard uh, French and German accents, mostly German. Hello, Monica. Welcome. Marisov, hello. So walking is more difficult, tourists are back and they don't know to walk on the right side because of that it's more difficult to arrange social distance. Hello, Dam Square, the Royal Palace in front of us, and the World War II Memorial is here for the victims. So, the Second World War, not only the Holland, not only the Netherlands, also for the previous colony of the Netherlands, like Indonesia. This line symbolize, symbolize the Netherlands Kingdom. There are two lines on this corner. I'll show you, this is one of them and the other one is over there. And this is the Second War Memorial. Most of the people don't recognize this uh, memorial here. It's an, uh, every year there is a ceremony. Uh, on 5th of May 
uh, regarding to the freedom of the Netherlands. Stepping back forth, I will do that, but a few hours ago we were in the largest covered market of Europe and I I have eaten and drink drink many things. I'm full. No place for anything. So this is the Royal Palace and this is the new church exhibition center currently. And uh, now I'm gonna walk through the other streets. Privet Yuri. Horoshi Pigoriki. I don't know. Thank you, but. Okay, as you know, last uh, two weeks ago, a famous criminal journalist, a reporter, was shot in Lesser Plain, around Lesser Plain, and uh, he passed away uh, a few days ago. This is for him. Netherlands uh, Lion Kingdom. Netherlands Kingdom Lion. These flowers and the uh, letters uh, are located for him. He's the man, Peter R. Fries. He was shot around the supply. And unfortunately, <laughs> we lost her last week. Rest in peace. Alexander, thank you so much for translation. Yuri said hi and pleasant walking travels. Spasibo. An iconic hotel is here, an edge collection currently, but Grand Hotel Krasnopolsky and this corner in the beginning of Warmostrad. Armostrad was very crowded when I visited an hour ago, also Zedek. Yes. Yes, when I took my first vaccine shot uh, six weeks ago, I became really tired at the end of the day. Today, so far, I still have energy. And uh, I don't know what happened in the next hours. We will see when I return home. But I wish, yes. Also, it was too hot and we walked around the bazaar, the bazaar in Beferwijk a lot and after that I walked to the train station under sun there was no place in the shadow so it makes me it made me more tired and I forgot to drink water you know I drank uh, Arabic coffee and iron which makes you more thirsty when you drink iron. Oh, 
let me show you this place because this is a touristic place and maybe some of you would like to see this nice collection of condoms <laughs> And without reveal your identity, they sent wherever you want. And let's see this area. There are some even even some orange national colors. Ajax. It seems Ajax are very small. I don't know why. <laughs> it's pretty. They make. They made uh, Ajax orange condoms very little. Oh, and there's a nice word here, quote. The best attack begins with a good defense. Wow. All right. <laughs> Just for your information, when someone says go to coffee shop, go to somewhere, I just block them. First of all, you cannot order something. And second, why should I go to a coffee shop? Jack found says yes, it was, it took 20 minutes, I guess. And then I waited about 20 minutes more for the next train. Oops. It's a really nice art studio. Oh, this is the one I read on Wikipedia. It's a famous art shop on Warmostrad with masks. Another museum here, Cannabis Museum. I'm 100% sure that your museum card is not allowed here. <laughs> and when we turn right, we see the renovation tower of the Adekerk, the old church, the oldest building of Amsterdam. And also the left and right sides are still, again, red light district. Sparsh. Big shots, sport bar. Big shots. You will never drink alone. So we are in Warmostrad. This is the one of the oldest streets of Amsterdam. The street uh, goes back to its history goes back to the 13th century. It's considered uh, considered that the oldest streets in Amsterdam is are uh, Warmostrad, Zeedijk, and Nieuwendijk. So between Nieuwendijk and Zeedijk. This is Warmostrad. It was in the 17th century. It was a shopping street, the Warmostrad, and traders, merchants were meeting on the street, and they agree. And also, there were most of those buildings. Uh, let me show you around. Most of those buildings were company. 
company buildings and also depots so and the bottom floors were shops and this small street also show again the some part of the old church uh, the kirk i'm filming tower no problem <laughs> the church <laughs> And also in the past, rich people were living in the streets, on the streets. But after Herrenkraft and the other canals uh, were built, then they moved to Herrenkraft. Herrenkraft became popular for rich people instead of this one of that. Wang Dong, I got to say, I love all the brickwork you show in your videos, they are work, so thanks so much. It's a good motivation to me. Appreciated your feedbacks. Yes, Darren, thank you. Please hit the like button if you're enjoying these Amsterdam videos. We do this weekly, on a weekly basis. Let's quickly check the Damrak view and then we will go back to the warmer strat. Abdul Muin tourists can buy a wheat in cup shop now. Yes, of course they can buy. Those are dancing houses. The the buildings over Warmostrat, the backside of Warmostrat buildings, and uh, this is Damrak. So in the Middle Ages, uh, only this street and uh, behind of that Neon Dyke and this Warmer Strat was there and on instead of Dam Square there was a dam over there. Dam Square was built later. Hello, Hardrod from Canada. It's good that you caught us. Thanks for watching. Yes, it's even more crowded than the previous weeks. It's nine o'clock. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and the boats were full also. So let's check back the Warmostrat because the further off Warmostrat is even more crowded. And the restaurants are packed. The place of Utrepidi, yes, Demirji. Sorry, I forgot to show you Utrepidi. <laughs> Here it is, it's a bit far away. Toti, Toti, did you go to where the tragedy was? Uh, if you are asking for Peter Fries, tragedy, no, I didn't. Because I thought it's not appropriate to record video there for YouTube uh, as if um, as if I would use that uh, occasion for getting hit, getting views. So instead of that, I didn't visit. In the future, I will go, but for now. Uh, I'm staying away because there will there will be misunderstanding about that. <laughs> Some people think like I do it for getting real, but I don't need that. In the 
center of uh, Warmostrad. There are historical buildings, but it's interesting that this building is pretty new when, when you are considering uh, it's the oldest street of Amsterdam, this building from 1934. Hatornat, one of the most popular bars in this area. And this is go the way it goes to the red light. You see? Pink and sink. Like looks like sports bar. Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting my decision. But in the future, I know the I know the corner, the the shooting happened. In the future, after uh, when when uh, that become a, an old news, I will visit and I will show you, and I will share the details. I think it's a, another bachelor, bachelor party ladies, probably. Freikhzal. <laughs> Freikhzal means single. But, uh, <laughs> something else. Hello. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, they wind back. Neka. Freikazel means single. <laughs> This is a beautiful spot for weaving. We visited before, just you don't know already. And uh, normally on the day, during the day, you can go in the corner and there's a free view. Um, right. See, over there, this way goes to the canal. Hunter's Park, those are bike policies, police cyclists. Hello, Paul Maris, Morris. Mercedes, good evening to Germany. You're welcome. We have so many German tourists in Amsterdam Centrum today. Organic drinks. And laughing, yes, that's correct. Thank you, Corinza. And this is one of the most spectacular buildings of Amsterdam Old Centrum. In my opinion, it's from 1618. There are gorgeous details. As usual, we see a plate. Probably it symbolized the, uh, the job of the building owner. Or if it was a company, it's showing the business explanation. I mean. 
Omelek is here, a great uh, breakfast place, all about egg. Also in the pipe, they have another store. Alexander, you have been, you have been in Zandam, yes, uh, several times. And the last month I shared another video from Zandam. The party inside. But we haven't been there for live walking tour. I shared the pre-recorded video, it's a beautiful one. I also recorded the hotel in all details. Uh, next time we will be visiting on a live stream tour. Also, there is a new Turkish bakery opened in Zandam. I'm gonna show you there. We will visit. We will be visiting Turkish bakery, and we will try some Turkish things. If you are curious about that, stay in tune. And uh, if you haven't watched my previous Zandam video, it's a really good one. I recommend it to you. Just search like Zandam, uh, follow my travels. You will see on the YouTube search results. Uh, Wang Dong, thank you so much for the energy, uh, energy drink contribution. Thanks so much. Later, I will use it for water. Thanks so much for the super chats. Follow my travels line, Murat. The freeze, fries, like freeze. Oh, okay. Otherwise, it's a fries. Well, yes. It's a uh, perfect ex explanation. Thanks so much, Elise, for correcting me. I always say, say it's fries. Yes, I didn't know that it was. It's pronounced like freeze. Freeze. All right. Thanks so much. That area is where the the place where we started to our tour, and the, the site is Adekerk. We will walk through Zedek after here. Eric, we thank so much for the feedback. Hope you can come back soon. Monica, is there like secret alley ways, like shortcut in Amsterdam that the average tourist might not know about like our... Yes, Monica, uh, Jake van der Slas, thank you so much. Thank you, Al. <laughs> uh, Monica, yes, there are. In Warmer Strat, if, if, like five minutes ago, I showed one of them. Most of the tourists didn't notice. Also, there is another one here. It's closed on the evening. Uh, but normally, yeah, it's open until 6 o'clock. This gate is open normally. So other side, this street in the corner, it goes to the red light district. And if you continue to that uh, straight ahead, there's another bridge. And when you pass it, you will find yourself in Zedek. This is a small street, small alley, and there's a beautiful weave on the corner, both sides. It's a perfect spot for photography. Another beautiful historic building. I love this one. I couldn't find time to search of search the history of this building so far, but for sure I will investigated you'll come if I see more I, I'm gonna show you the other LA's or streets also let's continue to Zedek
And this is one of the most beautiful uh, view. It's pretty, it's pretty now the terrace is crowded and uh, in the previous months it was free so we were able to take the picture. Very comfortable. A oh, one called Catholic Church hidden inside that building. All right, wow, good info. Thank you. So, so many noise on this corner in that bar. Let's continue to Zedijk. Zedijk is also one of the oldest streets of Amsterdam. And in 1980s, it was impossible to visit this street, especially on evening. It was so dangerous. It was drug, drug sellers' territory. The streets and tourists were uh, warning to not enter to the street. It was the most dangerous area in the whole Amsterdam. Not anymore. Currently, there are lots of restaurants, shops, interesting shops. Also, it's the main streets of the Chinatown. A party boat is coming. Get ready, guys. You could visit, but you must have a gun or knife, yes. <laughs> what a sound. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Through Amsterdam wide. <laughs> there is an Irish bar, yes, there is a famous Irish bar, also there is a chapel here in the corner on the other side. Uh, we will visit later. First, I'm gonna. I want to show you the further Zedark at restaurants. And also, this is McCarthy's uh, whiskey shop. Oh, there are so many absinthe and whiskey choices, and also other liquors. Jack Daniel's guitar and some spirits absinthe and single malt whiskies japanese yamazaki hakushi and some army vodka military vodkas <laughs> cannabis flavors cocaine flavors <laughs> Pretty different choices. <laughs> On the description you can find uh, our Discord server link 
Uh, please join to our Discord server and if you have questions about Amsterdam or the Netherlands, you can ask there and also you can chat with other members. And the last thing, please hit the like button if you are enjoying this tour. We do this every weekend, one in Amsterdam, one in another city and also we have live bike tours in Amsterdam or in Holland countryside or in other cities. For example, tomorrow there will be a live bicycle tour and also walking tour. The location will be shared with members today night. And uh, if you would like to support more, uh, you may become a member on this channel. We have different membership categories and uh, in exchange, uh, I provide some extra advantage for the members. For example, I share the live location, live video location and the date and time first with members. So this is Zedaik and this is the main streets of Chinatown as I mentioned before and let me show you for example the street names are also in Chinese not only in Latin alphabet but also in Chinese so from this point especially there are almost only Asian food restaurants and cafeterias like uh, Japanese, Chinese, Malaysian, Thai and uh, let me check if we can take a look from this bridge oh yeah okay you remember the previous I mentioned about a small alley it's open to the dike and the red light yes that's the bridge over there if you get in that closed door you will reach this bridge and when you move over to the other city it's the dike and if you come from this area it's red light district and this is matahari one of the decent bars and restaurants in this corner and uh, this is uh, the red light wheel, the main canal. The main canal wheel. I'll not go further. Though it, uh, most of the workers are not here at this time. Between 8 and 10 o'clock, most of the workers are not there. They're away and uh, the rental agencies are cleaning the rooms around these times. By the way, the dike was built as a dike to protect uh, small Amsterdam in, uh, in the 14th century. Uh, just let me remind you that uh, there was only uh, Nieuwen Dijk and Warmerstraat in the beginning and also only a dam in dam square and then they built the dike the the street we walk now as a protective dike uh, for amsterdam centrum to protect it from the eye eye water to float i mean uh, this is a temple just in the most crowded area of the Chinatown
Thank you, Gus Market. You are getting better with the history lessons. I hope, yeah. I started with no talking videos, only the ambience. But the point where we arrive is I talk too much and I talk too much about the history of Amsterdam. I don't know if most of you are happy with that. Because I can understand some people would like to see only the daily life in Amsterdam instead of the boring history things. So this Dewag, the castle looking building, currently is a restaurant. It was one of the gates of Amsterdam in the past. So it's the middle side of uh, dike, protective dike. Uh, was coming along here and also move forward but this was the middle point it was the gate and this square is called new new marked there's a Beautiful castle looking building is the Wag. Also, it's a trade tax calculation center. The Wag is located in almost every town and city of the Netherlands. Well, thanks so much. So many people love these uh, story stories. Glad to hear that because I'm studying a lot. <laughs> I read books, I search internet Dutch sources because English sources is limited about the history of the Netherlands and Amsterdam. So I check first English sources and then I check Dutch sources. If I, can un if I cannot understand, I translate them, etc. But still we have a long way. Yes, Matahari. By the way, in two weeks we will be visiting the birthplace of Matahari, the famous Dutch spy and exotic dancer, yes. With her beauty, uh, she made a lot of successful things regarding to government information <laughs> oh Tucson Elaine wish I could hit the like button twice thank you so much Leslie this is my favorite neighborhood enjoying this vlog a lot great to hear that thank you I know the house where Matahari born uh, in Leeuwarden and we will be visiting Leeuwarden soon and Leeuwarden is a huge, beautiful city. I know a lot of beautiful spots in that city. It's one of my favorites. So very soon we will be there for a live stream tour. Maybe also Harlingen. And an old fisher village. It's also beautiful. I think, yeah, I'm becoming guide <laughs> slowly. Tour guides would not, would not like that because I provide limited information and if I were a tour guide, I, I would hate about this channel. Toti Toti, my name is Murat. M-U-R-A-T. So what I'm gonna do is I will be walking straight ahead until Prince Hendrikade and then we will go to the centrum, central station sites and then we will slowly uh, arrive to our end on this video because I'm planning to make two live streams tomorrow also in another city, not Amsterdam 
and I will keep some energy by sleeping early today. Did my car did I miss Febo again? Not at all. I was full because of Bay, Bay for Wike local market tour today. I tried so many things there. I ate Afghan, Afghan food, Turkish food, and uh, drank so many things. So still there is no place in my stomach. Febo is another time. If I find a Febo uh, in the city where I will visit tomorrow, I will try it for you. Hello, John Connolly. Welcome to the live stream. Harjot, it's just a matter of time till Murat starts to appear. Number one tour guide on the TripAdvisor thing. So much. Thanks, Elise. It's a nice channel. Right, Rosa, thanks so much. And those buildings are Chinatown's buildings, actually. The other side of these buildings are restaurants, which we saw in, uh, like 10, 5 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, I think. But it's busy. There is a bike lane over there, and there is no way for pedestrian. Actually, there is. I mean, it's not a pedestrian road, but bike parking place, so I can walk over there and show closer. Nice and simple houseboat over there with a call, farm atmosphere. <laughs> By the way, there are some good news. My channel's views are increasing due to a few videos. And uh, they are watched more and more nowadays. Hopefully, they will help uh, to make my channel bigger, also with your support. Totti, Totti, no, this is something I do only for weekends, mostly, for now. Thank you, Colleen. Thanks so much. I will try to sleep well, but I'm not sure because of that Arabic coffee I tried in Beverwijk. Beverwijk. <laughs> it was a strong one. Let's take uh, another look, last look to the Wach. Here. This is the Wach building. And in Rijks Museum or Amsterdam Museum, as I remember, I saw some paints uh, which contains the Wach also. There are some famous arts. Uh, it was painted in front of the Wach. Caffeine high, I, yes I am. <laughs> Hello Algeria, Sheriff Mantis. Let's continue to Prince Enricade. It's already almost 10 o'clock. So I prefer to finish video soon, in 10-15 minutes. Therefore, I will say uh, some me time. I will have some me time in the next hours. Hello, Trevor Random. Welcome again. By the way, as you noticed, I have a new video concept. I make long story short videos from live stream videos. So for the people who doesn't like to watch the full video like one hour, two hours, 
I will create some shorter videos like five minutes videos and also for Instagram one minute videos I will do that also for today's local market tour and also this tour so for example you will see this tour in five minutes in the next week Oops, sorry. I did, I pushed the wrong button, sorry. <laughs> Door dress, small Amsterdam. Yes, in the last month, the previous month, we were there for a live stream tour in Door dress. It's also a beautiful city. Thank you for feedbacks. Gas with maggots and one talk. Short story long. <laughs> long story short, short story long. Both are possible. So here we are in Prince Hendrikade. Pretty long street. Hoftbrug. The brug means bridge. Hoftbridge. And there is a video spot specially built for us. Oh, there is a nice terrace over there. It's empty now, but there's a terrace. And there is a, if you come with a boat, there is a parking place. <laughs> Thank you, Demiji. But the problem with that is when you make more live stream from Amsterdam, the people want more Amsterdam videos. However, I don't want to only show Amsterdam, also the other cities. So because of that, when I visit, for example, Maastricht, there are less people. But that's fine. There will be more people in the future from other cities also. When we have more videos about other cities. So there are pretty clear science centrum central station. And the Sinala route means the faster route faster route which one is that let me see okay there is a small fast route here they made it there is an officer over there it's about to observate it in the entrance and there is an elevator here go to the other side because of the restrictions uh, renovations and constructions Some of the ways goes to go to the central station are closed. For example, you have to walk all the roads if you go, want to go to the central station entrance. And uh, I have just noticed that there is a, a, a fast route. 
over there. Guys, give my thank you for the super chat. Oh, thanks so much. Jack van der Slaus, we are passing the vaping tower that's where the woman waved the husband to see. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you for letting me know. Let me check if I understand the correct one. Yes, this one I think. This tower is uh, the tower where women wave hands to their men. Thank you for the good information today, Jack van der Slaus. Thank you well. And there are also more signs in the centrum, like Canal Cruises, Ron Farton. Those are new signs. Yes, yeah, slowly they are making the new appearance of the Amsterdam Central. There are lots of renovations all around the central station area. We are in front of that beautiful church. Uh, Basilica. Basilica Nicholas Church. There are great details. I hope we will get inside soon. I will investigate about that there are also lots of small details on the top and uh, let's see that shortcut I see this is for bike bike lane I think this is zebra lines for bikes so this bike park parking area is new there were no bike parking area before. How long will the renovations last? I guess one year more at least. Yes, Basilica San Nicolas Church. This. Right. this is the new place for uh, boat cruises. Uh, also other sites, there are lovers boat cruises. This is the new place and there's a nice terrace over there in the other side, on the other side. And all that area is under construction. The previously bike park was over there. Now they moved the bike park area to here, both sides. And the colors look awesome on the other side. Lovers boat cruise sites that are romantic colors. Look at this. Wow. Also, there is another boat cruise station here. It wasn't here. And, uh, yeah. Now I'm curious what will happen in that area. The plans are public, but I haven't checked. Sunset is over there. Yeah. 
they small armor. By the way, I'm not gonna cross the street again, but here is the Hotel Prince uh, Hendrikade on the corner. Pa sorry, it's Prince Hirlik Hotel and Prince Hendrik Hotel is here. This is red one, three stars. So that white building is Prince here look oh actually we need to cross the street already there's no way without crossing the street all right so this Prince Hendrik hotel is where the famous musician uh, committed suicide in 80s or 90s uh, uh, it's believed that after some weed or some magic mushroom, I don't know, he jumped from the window and he was found dead by the hotel staff in front of the building. Uh, I cannot remember the name of the musician, it's very famous. If you know it, please write on the chat. And. There is a portrait of that musician. Let me see if I can show you. Chat backer. Yes, here it is. Trumpet player and singer Chat Baker died here on May 13, 1988. He will live on in his music for anyone willing to listen to him. This is his portrait. Chad Becker, thank you, Ruben. They say he was thrown from window one call. Yes, maybe because yeah, anything is possible. Because I I read I read uh, his life story, especially the last years, and it was pretty complicated. And. Uh, he was in depression, some addiction, and the addiction therapies, etc. There were so many things going on. So anything is possible, I think, for this. All right. So we are finishing here. Thank you so much for watching it's always great to walk with you thanks a lot see you tomorrow i will share it with the members tonight exact location and time tonight i will share with the members and for others tomorrow i will share the link just follow the channel i will say goodbye to you with this beautiful view in damrak Thank you all. Uh, nice evening and nice day. Further, Arjo, thank you, thank you for another amazing tour as always. Mark, looking forward to the next one. Take care, and everyone else in the chat as well. Thank you so much, and thanks God, Skip Maggots, for your nice comments. One tongue. Thanks for enriching our lives and the positive vibra vibrations, Leslie. Leslie, Paul Morris, Colesar, John Connolly, Tucson, Elaine. Cheers. <laughs> Abdul, thank you. Thank you all. Jack van der Slaus. Fine Alphonse. Tomorrow will be Utre and it will be a birthday present for me. Wow, Demir, is it your birthday tomorrow? Then I will try to do my best. Let's see. <laughs> thank you. Bye, Colin. Hello, Mexico. Goodbye.